this video, we're going to take a look at how to evaluate a logarithmic expression. Now, a lot of what I'm going to show you in this video you learned last year in Algebra 2, so this is sort of like a refresher. Now, the most important thing to understand about a log is that it's the inverse operation of an exponential function or an exponential expression. So if you have an exponential expression like 5 squared equals 25, if you were to write that in log form, it would say log base 5 of 25 equals 2. So a good way to think about it is that the answer to a logarithmic expression is an exponent. So let's start out with something basic. If I asked you to evaluate log base 2 of 8, if I asked you what that was, in your mind, you're thinking 2 to the what power equals 8. How many times would you have to multiply 2 by itself to get 8? If you're thinking 3, you're absolutely correct. Now, how do you check to make sure that you're right? Maybe you took a guess with 3 and you're not actually sure. If you switch your log expression to exponential form, it would say 2 to the third equals 8 which is true. So your evaluation, saying that the answer here is 3, is correct. So what if I gave you log base 4 of 16? In your mind, you say 4 to the what power equals 16? And if you're thinking 2, then you're completely correct because 4 squared is 16. What if I asked about log base 5 of 1? What is log base 5 of 1? So 5 to the what power is 1? You're absolutely correct. That's 0. Anything to the 0 power is always 1. Fabulous job, kids. Fabulous job. What about log base 4 of 1 over 4? This is one of my favorite questions. So you need to think 4 to the what power is 1 fourth? Now, if you can remember back to the exponential rules video, if you take a larger number and you create a fraction by using an exponent, that means that that exponent was negative. That means that exponent was negative. So if I compare this 4 here and this 4, they're the same. That means that the exponent here is a 1. So if you want to change 4 to 1 fourth by using an exponent, that exponent's going to be negative 1 because 4 to the negative first is 1 fourth. Let's try another one using a negative exponent. What about log base 3 of 1 over 9? This is asking you 3 to the what power is 1 over 9? So let's first think about the 3 and the 9. How do I get from 3 to 9 by using an exponent? You're right, that's 2. And because you have 1 ninth, because you have 3 being a number greater than 1 and 1 ninth being a number less than 1, your exponent must be negative. 3 to the negative 2 equals 1 ninth. Log base 25 of 5. What does that equal? Log base 25 of 5. So in your head you say 25 to the what power is 5. And then you're thinking, well, that's a little confusing because there definitely is a relationship between 25 and 5, but can I use an exponent to represent that? You know that the square root 
of 25 equals 5. Can you represent square root as an exponent? Do you remember that from Algebra 2? Because you can do it. Square root as an exponent is really to the 1 half power. 25 to the 1 half is the same as the square root of 25. So when you evaluate this log, the answer is 1 half because 25 to the 1 half is 5. So let's say I asked, what is log base 27 of 3? So you think, okay, 27 to the what power is 3? And then you remember that the cubic root of 27 is 3. Now, if square root is really 1 half, then you are correct in thinking that the cubic root is really 1 third. So when you have radicals, those exponents become fractions. So this is true, 27 to the 1 third equals 3. Okay, everyone, good luck on Khan Academy.